Welcome to Venture Cafe Presents. I'm Christine Dunn, and joining us here tonight at Food Night here at the Venture Cafe is Lauren Abda. She founded Branch Food, which supports food innovators here in the greater Boston area. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So food innovation and, and food incubation seems to be a, you know, kind of an emerging theme. Can you talk to us a little bit about why there's such growth in that market? Yeah, I think it's a, sort of a philosophical answer. Um, I think a lot of people want to reconnect with their food. Uh, there's been, um, I guess, tremendously, you know, kind of offensive things done in food on behalf of big food companies. Um, and I think people are concerned about their health. Uh, I think we want to regain control over what we eat and how it impacts um, the health of, of ourselves and our families. And um, people are really changing the way they purchase and changing the way they relate to food. And I think that in many ways that's transforming the food industry in terms of new products that are healthier, cleaner being produced by uh, big food companies, small startups that are launching really interesting, innovative brands that have sort of this you know, social impact but are profitable and are healthy. Um, and then I think that there's a lot of um, interesting things happening in terms of food tech uh, and food innovation um, in a, a different capacity, I guess, which um, relates to kind of the convenience economy and people wanting um, not only convenience food, but healthier convenience food. Um, and I think we're seeing that trend changing retail. I think we're seeing it change um, fast casual restaurants. Fast casual is like the new term for fast food. No one wants to be a fast food restaurant anymore. And so, uh, so I think it's a, it's a really exciting time to be in food. And um, it seems like everyone's launching that type of a business these days. So when you think about food technology, what are some of the emerging trends you're seeing there in terms of what people are thinking about? Mm -hmm. Certainly delivery. Um, so how can I get hot food to you faster? Um, whether that's at home or in the office space, um, also, I think corporate food is becoming a really big thing. So uh, I think you know, big tech companies, biopharma companies, especially ones here in the Boston and Cambridge area, um, are definitely using food as sort of a tool to attract and retain talent, um, you know, uh, appease their employees, keep them there in the office. Um, and they're spending a lot of money on doing that, um, working with local restaurants to keep things interesting, diverse, new menu items. Um, and, uh, and sort of introducing food as, as a thing in the corporate office space. Um, other trends, you know, um, in terms of food products, beverages, um, you know, big food companies are seeing the bottoms fall out of some of their classic legacy products like Hamburger Helper and you know, some of these other foods that people don't want to eat anymore because they don't understand them. <laughs> and, um, and so, uh, big food companies like Campbell's and General Mills and Kellogg's have created these um, venture funds to acquire and bring in these really innovative brands that have been able to capture a large share of the market and um, and uh, and kind of involve them in, in their portfolio of companies to help them kind of continue their business and satisfy their stakeholders. Um, so I, I think that food is transforming in so many ways. Uh, but I actually think a lot of it is catalyzed by the way people are spending their money. So how does Branch Food support? What kind of services do you provide mm -hmm. in your space? Yep, so uh, we provide a number of different uh, resources for people launching food businesses. Um, they include uh, workspace. So it's open co-working space that we have for uh, people that are creating new food companies, whether they're a one-person founder or a team within a massive company. Um, uh, some of which we have in our spaces. Uh, we also do a lot of events that highlight innovation. So we have an event upcoming next month. It's called Innovations in Food Tech for Health. And so uh, we really use those as ways to help um, raise awareness about all the different innovations and technologies and products that are being created for the sector um, and help give those companies sort of the, the airtime that they're looking for um, and also pair them with a really engaged community because I think that that's sort of interesting um, we have a really engaged community of food people that want to learn more about what's out there. Um, and then we do classes and workshops and office hours to um, help, help people that want to launch a food company in a more educated and informed way. And so what got you involved in the food business? What was the origin of your interest in this industry? <laughs> so I typically say it's a, a kind of a personal um, uh, origin for me. My um, dad is Lebanese and so I 
basically grew up eating hummus out of a bottle. <laughs> and, uh, and so food was always, it was a thing because it was different than, than what everyone else I knew, you know, had access to or was doing. Um, and then uh, when I was 16, my uh, mom's uh, mom, my grandmother was diagnosed with leukemia. And my mom went, uh, she, was, she worked at the hospital and she knew that someone with that diagnosis uh, didn't really make it very far after discovering that they had something like that. And so she went out to California to study with a couple of doctors who used plant-based diets to treat disease and came back and completely transformed my gra grandmother's diet, completely transformed our diets. And it was around the time that I was kind of considering what school programs I wanted to go to for college and um, ended up influencing my decision. And I've been in food ever since. So. Well, thank you for joining us here tonight at Venture Cafe Presents. Thank you. Thanks for having me. For Venture Cafe Presents, I'm Christine Gunn. Thank you.